How cases reach the Supreme Court. Now, we received a request to discuss how cases reach the Supreme Court of the United States, sometimes referred to as SCOTUS. I'm attorney Ali Kasahun of the Tropic Legal Law Firm. The Tropic Legal Law Firm is located in Deerfield Beach, Florida, and we serve clients in our great sunshine state. We make these videos in an attempt to provide information not only to our clients, but to other people who are interested in the law. Before we get into the information, if you haven't already liked and subscribed to the Tropic Legal YouTube channel, do that now so we can keep bringing you these informative videos. Now, there are three distinct ways that cases can end up in front of the Supreme Court. The first way is that the case is under the Supreme Court's original jurisdiction. Original jurisdiction means that the Supreme Court hears the case directly without the case being heard by a lower court first. The Supreme Court has original and exclusive jurisdiction to hear disputes between different states. For example, say if Florida wanted to sue Georgia, then the Supreme Court would have original jurisdiction over that case. Original jurisdiction cases are the rarest of the cases heard by the Supreme Court. The second way that a case can make it to the Supreme Court is on appeal from a circuit court. This is the most common way that a case will be heard by the Supreme Court. A party seeking to appeal the decision of a circuit court can file a petition to the Supreme Court for a writ of certiorari. Essentially, this means that a party is informing the Supreme Court that it is requesting that it review the case. Now, since the Supreme Court has discretion to decide which cases it will hear and gets thousands of petitions for certiorari, it's not very likely that SCOTUS will issue a writ and hear the case. It should also be noticed that SCOTUS will only issue a writ if four of the nine justices vote to do so. Now, the third and final way in which a case can reach the Supreme Court is through an appeal from a state Supreme Court, meaning the highest court in a state, regardless of what that court is called. The Supreme Court usually won't challenge a state court's ruling on an issue of state law, but will grant certiorari in cases where the state court's ruling deals with constitutional issues. So now you know about how cases can make it up to the Supreme Court. I'm attorney Ali Kassoon of the Tropic Legal Law Firm. Again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the Tropic Legal YouTube channel. Let's keep learning about the law.